Today, we'll open our last sports card mail day in 2022, but this just might be the best one yet. So many people to thank, and know that, like, like you said, this is, this is only the beginning. Welcome back to Card Talk. Thousands of people. Collections, card shops, and collectors. 47.5, you're, you're good to go. All right, man. <laughs> a lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day. So, all right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Flex 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we are back to open our last sports card mail day in 2022. But as I mentioned, this could very well be uh, the biggest one yet. I believe, I haven't exactly counted, there are multiple boxes down here filled with packages. I will guess there's about 20 packages full of stuff. I know there's a couple different lots I bought in here, some worth uh, more than two grand that's got some cool stuff in it. You guys will obviously see here in just a second. Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of different stuff, and of course, there's going to be a ton of variety as always. So if you're new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below because we're going to have a lot more of these mail days in 2023, which is rapidly approaching. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. But let's get into the mail day. I've got a couple packages, a couple easy ones pulled out, ready to go. So let's see how we can end the last mail day in 2023. Starting off with a nice packing job. Always love to see that for sure. <clears throat> All right. Painter's tape. It's got a mag. Let's see what this is. Perfect. Love the start there. All right. Got a Garrett Wilson one of one immaculate collegiate rookie auto. That's right off the rip. Love that start. Now, this is going to bring me into an actually interesting question I had no intentions of asking. But now that I see this, this is a soft sleeve on top of a card. Do you prefer this on your magged cards, right? So you got a card and a mag. So what some people will do is they'll put a soft sleeve on it because they believe that the top, uh, the inside edge of the magnetic top could potentially scratch the surface. Do you use soft sleeve on yours? I know a lot of people do, not a lot of people that do not. Personally, I think it's just a personal preference thing. I do not prefer them. I would much rather... I think that just adds like a, a fogginess to it. So to me, I would rather have it like this. I respect the seller for shipping it like that. I think it's better to be over cautious than under cautious um, or less cautious. I'm not sure under cautious is what I'm looking for there. Uh, regardless, just curious, but uh, another Garrett Wilson one of one for the PC. Definitely like that. And then this one was sent to the shop. So don't really know what this could be. So it's a couple Donnie Nickies. I think I bought these on eBay, but they were like the 25 or 30 cents shipping option. I don't think that's what those was. I hope the seller didn't overpay to ship these, but I saw a couple of these get listed on eBay. You guys know if I see them, I'll typically grab them. Um, unless they're severely overpriced, I try to buy the ones that are actually reasonable, but got a couple more for the PC. Can't go wrong there. All right, got a big uh, priority mail envelope. Uh, this one is from Pennsylvania. Cards from all over the country today. All right. So I won't show the address, but one of the things I think is a, actually a good tip when selling cards online is what this seller did. They put the address inside uh, or on the package inside the other package when shipping high-end cards I think that can actually be a relatively sneaky uh, but super helpful thing uh, we've had packages in the past that like the outside of the wrapper will get damaged but I think if you have the uh, if you have the, the wrapper on the inside as well I think that can help in case something were to happen they open it up or they saw it and that was damaged you would at least have the address on the other package inside it's not going to have shipping paid for it, but at least they would know where to send it. Uh, so I bought a, one of these online. This is the 2009 WNBA uh, Witten, Rittenhouse uh, Series 3 from 2009. I'm actually just going to open this up. I thought this was going to be more packs, but let's see what we get in there. I think it's pretty much like a set, and then you get a couple hits, but I haven't opened any of this. So let's see if we get anybody good. I think you get, like, what, two autos? 
three autos per pack. See if we get anything good. Got Sue Bird right off the rip. Can't go wrong there. Well, they're definitely stuck together, but I guess that's probably what you get with a pack that's 13, almost 14 years old. Uh, Sue Bird, Becky Hammond. Love that. Uh, Swin Cash. Got a couple autos coming up. Lauren Jackson. You can see one on the side there. Diana Taurasi. All right, Nikki. And then uh, Dewana Bonner. Shavante Zealous. I don't know these names as well. Shante Black. Oh, another one. Brian January. How many autos do you get? I think you got like three. There's four. This is five. Megan Frazy, 14th overall pick. Looks like there's a good amount of autos in this thing. Oh, maybe this is the last one. Right on cue. All right, so no names I was looking for there. I was looking for some of the bigger names. Got a couple of rookies in the back, it looks like. Yeah. Rashonda McCants. Hmm. All right. Kind of cool. Was hoping for different autos, but wasn't super expensive. Got six of them. So a lot of that stuff will go out and shop. Try to have a little bit of a different offering. We have a WMEA box in the shop. We actually move a lot of the singles in, so that will probably go out. Those will probably go out and shop here soon. I was, we almost had it until we went straight there at the end. All right, I have no idea what's in this. Some more WNBA blasters. So I got these. I thought these were a pretty good deal. Uh, I'm not going to open these. But I bought these online. There's five, it looks like. Um, first year WNBA blasters. They actually sell a good bit of the, the first year prism. And the hobby boxes are pretty expensive. So I bought a couple uh, first year First year blasters. You can tell there's going to be a lot of trash in this melody because there's stuff everywhere. All right, another box. Let's see if it's more wax or if it's a deal this time. Last two were wax. First two were PC cards. So I know one of them's a resale lot in here. All right, well, this could get messy. Oh, nice. Let's go. So I posted on my story the other day, I was looking for these, and then found two of them. Uh, I'll open one right now. Bonus little box break. Uh, so I try to buy the All-American stuff. Like, you guys, if you watch the channel, you've seen it. Uh, love the All-American stuff. I think it's really cool. It's getting the guys before they're, like, big time. A lot of the 2014, the 2014 one has a lot of the Buckeyes in it. It also has uh, Nick Chubbs, um, Joe Mixon, a couple other guys. So 2014 is my favorite, but it's also hard to find. These are 2015. There's a few Buckeyes in here. We'll look at the bottom. Oh, well, maybe we are. I won't look. You guys might have seen it. We'll put it on the bottom anyways. Then we'll move on. We'll keep another one of those for a rainy day. Uh, Chris Boyd, Keaton Sutherland. Sam Darnold out of 25. Wow. Blast from the past. Two of 25 green ink. Uh, John Reed. Holiday, Peters, Drew Locke out of 50. Probably a decent box back then. Box back then, Lake Deer. Uh, Yakili Ross at a 25. Johnny Frazier and Darius Slayton. Well, that's not bad. At least got some names in here. Slayton 101 Prolate. I don't know anything about Yakili Ross. Malik Deer, that name sounds familiar. Doesn't say where he went. But yeah, Drew Locke, Sam Darnold, wow. Last in the past, unfortunately, I don't think either guy really panned out. All right. Uh, this is a big lot. I know what this is. I don't remember every single card was in it, but I know there's a pretty cool F1 piece that's not a card, and then there's a bunch of football from 2018. Might also be another Sam Darnold, unfortunately. All right, so... Leave that right there, and then you got this. Okay. I'll do this first. I'll show you the cards real quick. And I'll show you that. Got stuff everywhere. Alright, so this 
This lot was like 2.4K, I think. 2.8. I don't know. I'd have to look. There's definitely a Sam Darnold. I just saw it, though. Two Sam Darnolds in one mail day. That might have been a decent title like four years ago. Unfortunately, not, <laughs> not nearly as good now. Uh, Lamar is probably one of the bigger pieces. Lamar Jackson, Cracked Ice. Uh, Deion Kane, Cracked Ice. Nick Chubb, Cracked Ice. Pettis, DJ Chark, Cortland Sutton, James Washington, uh, Anthony Miller, Luke Falk, Naheem Hines, Carrion Johnson, Deontay Burnett, Bo Scarborough, Royce Freeman, Simi Cobbs, uh, Ronald Jones, Darius Geis, Josh Allen, 9 10. It's the big one for sure. Baker Mayfield, 9 5 10, True Gem Plus, and Sam Darnold, and then a Christian Kirk, uh, 9 5 10. So I actually ripped a bunch of this back in the day. I was a really, you guys know, right? If you followed my channel for a while, I've been very open that Contenders Crack Dice College tickets are my favorite, like, parallel chasing cards. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't look like we're getting it this year. So, uh, won't have any Chris Olave or Garrett Wilson to chase, which really, really stinks. But as a college collector, I really, like, I think this stuff's really cool. So, a lot of that will go up for sale. Some of those will be gifts. But, then there was this. This is kind of neat. I actually don't have one of these. Almost wore my Ferrari hoodie today, but... I decided not to. So this is Charles Leclerc signed like mini helmet. It's kind of cool. Never even seen one of these. Got the Beckett cert 22 of 50. Unfortunately not 16. But 22 is my favorite number so that's cool. Or one of my favorite numbers so I thought that was neat. Don't have much uh, F1 merch or F1 like memorabilia, so might be a cool little PC piece, something different. All right, moving on. Still have a lot to open. Shout out to those of you still here. This is from South Dakota, so I definitely have no idea what is in this package. Looks like a box. Thank you, Ryan. Go Bucks, Tom. Is this something I bought? I do not know what this is. It is packaged extremely, extremely well. And there's a ton of stuff in here. I can't see what that is. I mean, this is like high quality wrapping right here. Okay. Well, let me open this real quick, BRB. All right, we are back. Got it all. Got it all in package. Took a minute, but save you guys the time. So this is a lot. I bought this on IG. Uh, a gentleman reached out said he saw we were looking for Buckeyes. This is this had to have come a while ago. So it definitely tells me I'm uh, super behind on. Uh, I'm super behind on mail at this point. Uh, you got a KJ booklet patch auto number to five. A lot of variety in this one but it's a lot of cool Ohio State stuff uh, some parallels rookies hurts numbered nothing crazy there but there's some neat stuff right here uh, C Grant same years Donnie Jalen Marshall Terry McLaurin Michael Thomas Nick Bosa Joey Bosa Johnny Dixon Braxton D'Angelo Russell Akuda, Denzel Ward Will Smith big big reason why I wanted it right there for sure uh, Donnie Auto out of 290, another one for the PC, another numbered auto. I uh, gotta check how many of those I have at this point, but excited to get another one of those. Here's some nice stuff. Uh, JT, JT out of five. I have most of the one on ones from this and a few out of fives from this exact card. Um, not sure if I'm gonna keep this or sell this. This is the cracked dice I'll for sure keep. It's I literally just prefaced that a few minutes ago that that's my favorite college parallel or favorite card parallel really. Uh, Fields, Curtis Samuel, that's actually from the game, the overtime game, first ever in the history of the rival, the rivalry, went to overtime, Ohio State won, JT was not short, sorry Michigan fans, I know you won this year, I get it, I'm sorry, uh, I just had to throw that in there, uh, JK out of 25, JT Ice, obviously big for the PC, uh, Sean Wade, Eddie out of 10, back-to-back -back Heismans, Troy Smith, Auto, 
And then you get into some random stuff. Uh, Lamelo, then a Terry at a 99. Paris at a 15. Justin Jefferson, contenders opt to Rogers patch at a 25 from Select. That's the Sparks. Uh, Van Jefferson, Flacco, 101, Impeccables, Victory, Super Bowl Auto. One of the best postseason runs of all time was Joe Flacco on that run to the Super Bowl that year. I know he hasn't done a ton outside of that, but that was historic. Like, dude was, uh, they dominated on the way to the Super Bowl that year. I think that's when they beat the Niners and the lights went out in the Super Bowl. So, cool card. Not expensive, but kind of neat. Uh, then some just cheaper stuff. Spellman. Uh, Nate Clements, Kenyon Rambo, one of my favorite Buckeyes. Was one of the, really the first guys I actually enjoyed watching. David Boston, Jonathan Wells, Robert Smith, Joey Galloway, Pace, all-time guy, Carlos Snow, uh, Lorenzo Styles. Some guys a little bit before me, Corey Stringer, uh, Nell Diggs, Plummer, Terry Glenn, rest in peace, Eddie George, uh, a bunch of guys, Scooney Penn, Campbell. Pen, Pen, San Antonio Holmes. So, just some cheaper stuff. A lot of it will end up in the shop, honestly, outside of what I'll keep. So, I'll pick out a few for the PC, but a lot of it will go in shop. Just talk about it a lot. But outside of me collecting it, we sell a ton of it. It is by far the most interested thing people have used for in the shop is Ohio State football. So, uh, we'll definitely have some of that in shop for sure. Uh, moving on, I know this is getting long. Shout out to those of you that are still here. We still have some packages left. I did preface in the beginning, this could be a big mail day. It is definitely turning into that. My accuracy on some of these cuts is not very good. Oh, these are some... Yeah, these are some Pokemon boxes. These are for the shop. We were getting asked about these, so grabbed a couple of these. Just two. Nate, one of the guys that uh, does a lot in our shop. If you've been at the shop, you know Nate. Um, said that we got out a lot of calls for these, so I picked up a couple of those. A lot of wax today. WNBA box, Leaf All American, WNBA Blasters, and Pokemon. There honestly could still be more Pokemon in here. Get some of these smaller packages. Oh, very cool. I made a trade. Uh, so if you watch the video, I'll tell you guys about it. There was a video with, it was in Burbank. I think the title was maybe my worst purchase of the year or something. It was like, I spent a thousand dollars on Ian book. And by the time the video came out, it had been released. Um, well, somebody is a huge Notre Dame fan. Huge collector, just graduated, uh, was like an alum, and we got to talking, and I, he's like, hey, you have, I had it up on eBay, it was a 10, it did end up 10 it was up on eBay, and someone's like, hey, I, like he said he wanted it, um, and we ended up making a trade for it, I got the Malkin, and 800 bucks, 900 bucks cash, um, well, PayPal, digital, um, but I picked up the Malkin because... I also have the Crosby. We had the same exact card. We picked it up at the National. I think the Crosby I have is third year. I think this is second year for Malkin. Malkin, however you pronounce that. Uh, but now I'll have the pair. So I'll keep those together. Um, both from the same set. Both patch autos. Exact same card. Um, I'll see if Brian can drop a picture down here. But that's why I wanted that. So I got that. And uh, the book went to somebody that will really enjoy it. So I thought that was kind of a cool... I don't really trade online. You guys know that. I don't. I don't do a lot of uh, online tradings. I just don't have time for it. But it's somebody that. Uh, but it's somebody that we had uh, a prior relationship with. So made an easy deal. Oh man, this is one of those cards that I paid way more than I think it's worth. Um, but if you followed me or our, our journey for a while. You'll know I have other of these. I'll have Brian uh, drop them down below. Um, but 
I saw this and these never, ever, ever, ever pop up. This card is six, or almost seven years old. They never pop up, so I had to have it. I own Braxton Miller and I own Michael Thomas and I'd never seen a Joey Bosa one. One of two, Joey Bosa, it's like a cap patch, but it has the full Ohio State logo. To find that on a card is rare. I understand it's not game worn, yada, yada, yada. I get it, but as an Ohio State collector, this is really, really cool. Michael Thomas, Joey Bosa, Braxton Miller, three of them. Uh, I don't know if Cardale has it. I don't know if Braxton has it. Uh, I don't I don't know who else has them, so I haven't looked, but I'm pumped, pumped, pumped to get that into the PC. I was, I was excited to get that in. Glad I got that. Now, I will give some love here. I don't know who this is from. It's from Massachusetts, but it says open on mail day video. So, I will do just that. Looks like a note. I'll be careful here. I don't want to rip it or do that. All right. Definitely a nice note. Charlie Hankins, go Bucks. All right. Dear Ryan, uh, Card Collector 2, my name is Cam and I'm 14 years old. I've been watching your videos since early 2020. You've been a huge inspiration of mine. I, I've known how to find great deals and tricks at card shows just by watching your content. Inside the team bag are some random Ohio State cards I found to add to your PC. Hopefully I can meet you one day at a card show. From Cam. Shout out to my guy Cam Poles. Cam underscore Poles on IG. Shout out to him. I appreciate the very nice note. I will keep this. I keep all of my notes. I'll keep that. What do we got here? Couple, couple Buckeyes for the old PC. Uh, Hankins, Terrell Pryor, one of the highest rated recruits Ohio State ever got. Nate Sally. This is 2006, so this is like right when I was getting into cards. 2006. Ashton Yabodi, Dante Whitner, or Dante Hitner, Whitner, nickname was Hitner. Uh, Nate Sally, Hawk, uh, I'm trying to think of who else is in there. Carpenter, Schlegel, Tro uh, was, no, Troy Smith was, yeah, 06, yeah. Troy Smith, Anthony Gonzalez. Were they 07? I always get those guys confused, regardless. CJ Shroud, my guy. Love that. Garrett Wilson, stud. Pete Warner, have a lot of his cool stuff. Fields, dominating. Alave, Wilson, studs, Fields. Thank you so much, Cam. Appreciate the uh, the cool gift for the old PC. Look at those old school Tostitos Fiesta Bowl jerseys. They did not do very well in that bowl game that year. No, they did not. Well, they lose national in 06 and 07. That was rough. So, uh, this is from Matt. I don't know. So it looks like it might have been like an eBay type purchase. Ah. Definitely great packaging. Love that. I have a mess to clean up. Oh, this is a lot of house. I rarely, rarely do this. I was on eBay browsing one night, chilling with my wife, and was like, I'm just going to browse. And somehow ended up with this lot of two JC Horn cars. <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, I had about these three, four weeks ago. JC Horn uh, out of 25 and JC Horn out of 49. I think I, I mean, I got a pretty good deal on it, and I was looking up Horn stuff. South Carolina kid actually doesn't have a bad following. actually has a pretty solid following, so... So I bought it. All right. Let's see what we got here. Bang! Let's go. I was waiting for this card to come. Another awesome PC card. Ready? Bang. Bang. Very cool PC mail day. For sure. Jammed in the old semi rigid. Love to see that, but. Garrett Wilson, one of one, Big Ten logo, rookie patch auto. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Super, super cool. Another Garrett Wilson, one of one for the PC. Looked like it was jammed in there, but it's actually not that bad. Fit in there nice and snug. All right. From Daniel. I think those are all just plastic bags. 
Whatever works. It's like saran wrapped. It's weird. I, I don't know if we've had saran wrap in any video all day, all year. All right, sorry, camera running long, but I was saying uh, somehow we ended up getting two packages from the last mail day of the year that had saran wrap. That's not very common, but again, whatever works. Oh, this was a lot. This was, uh, I think this lot will be sneaky. I actually, I really do. It's five. This was a bonus. Five Bryce Young autos. Five. I think Bryce Young will be one of the top three picks in the NFL draft. I know a lot of them are Leaf and Sage. I get that. Um, not expecting to make a million dollars, but there was a couple things that intrigued me about this. So you got an out of 99. Oh, uh, you have a Sage Peak Performance Auto. You have two different Pro Set Autos. Uh, this is Campus Kings, and it's just the base. But you do have a 9 of 50 jersey number Prime Signatures Auto from Bowman University. I like the jersey number stuff. I believe in that. I've always said that. You also threw in a pink, or I bought that. I don't remember. But I, I was counting on the autos. That was a bonus. Thank you, Daniel. Um, but I think that could be sneaky. I think so. I think this lot was like just over 200 bucks. And I think at the time, this little purchase was probably a month ago. At the time, there was a sale on this near the price of the lot. Wasn't far off, but this was jersey number. So we'll see. Sometimes you got to take chances if you're not, uh, you know, they're not all going to work out, but got to try and learn and we'll, we'll see what happens. But I don't feel, don't feel too bad on that one. All right, now there's this. Another one from Matt. This one's just in California. This looks like it could be a wax steel. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's like a double or triple wrapped. Hmm. Nope. Some graded stuff. Not a bad start right there with a Wander 10. All right. Still not ringing any bells. Uh, Brandon Ingram 10, Will Smith 10, Luis uh, Robert 10, Eloy 10, Bachette 10, Wander 10, Hero 10, Hero 10, Garland 10, Kobe White 10, and KPJ 10. Kind of looks familiar, but again, we had so many different things today, I don't exactly remember. I think this is a cheap grade lot I bought on IG. I think that's what that was. So it looks like a lot of stuff for an upcoming whatnot sale and a few cards for the shop. That's what that'll be. All right, still got a couple more. Shout out to those of you still watching, still supporting the last mail day of the year. Yep, it is. So this is the other one, There's a few more. But this is the other Pokemon. Right, two we had gotten asked for. Apparently it was these two. Don't know, but when someone says we got asked a lot for this particular box, I figured I would grab a couple for the shop. So two different Pokemon boxes there. That's our fifth wax the other day. All right, two more, three more. Yeah, it looks like three more packages and then we'll be done. All right, this is from Benjamin. Nice shipping, nice and easy too. Love that. Bang. I bought this forever ago. Forever ago. Uh, car shop friends up in Michigan reached out to me and said the customer had pulled this and wanted to sell it. I bought it prior to the loss of Michigan, so probably a little, uh, little, uh, uh, premium built in, but it's two of two. That's my number, so. CJ Stroud, wild card, five card draw. We ripped a box of this on the channel. I actually like this product. I think it is really cool. I think wild card did a really good job with this, but that will go in the PC. Nice CJ Stroud right there. Uh, this one's from John. That was nice and efficient. I haven't opened any boxes today that has been that efficient. Graded. No team bag. Oh, very cool. Another cheap, fun PC edition. I think it was under like $40. Uh, it's 4 of 10 AP Prism draft picks. You guys know I love the college stuff. 9, 5, 10. 
just a fun, cheap addition to the PC for AP. So there's that. And then no idea what this one is. Could be a box, could be a card. It's hard saying, definitely an online purchase. Something, um, alt. I remember making a deal for something on all that somebody had there. This is probably a trade or something. Nope. I thought I already got this. Clearly not. Danny Rick, Dynasty Patch Auto. The only F1 card in the mail day today outside of the mini helmet for Charles Leclerc. Five of 10. First year Dynasty, Danny Rick. Got to meet him in Austin and he was A plus, A plus. Big fan of him. So there is that and that is a wrap. What a mail day. Got to rip some boxes. Uh, got some amazing PC cards. Donnie Nicky, JT Barrett Ice, multiple Garrett Wilson 101s. The Bosa, uh, the gift from my guy Cam, just some incredible stuff. Makes me excited to buy some more stuff and get some more mail to share with you guys in 2023. Uh, hard to believe that is coming up here very soon, but we're just a few days away from the new year. So a lot of uh, a lot of cool card content coming soon, but for now, guys, that's all I got. Peace, guys.